Hi there, my name is Brian Gernon and I'm one of the program managers here focused on automobility. My name is John Magliero. I'm an adjunct researcher here at St. Clair College. And today we're going to talk about a special project which we call Betty. The Betty project was unique for us because it involved a modernization of existing technology such as the battery that was on the, the bike to include solar panels and a generator. Betty is part of this whole new fleet of these electric delivery and micro mobility vehicles that are coming on the market. In Betty's regular use, she's regularly away from power. So our goal was to outfit her with off-grid charging solutions. So that meant expanding the electronics to include a new charging module that could be hooked up to solar panels. That way when she's literally out in the field, she could charge passively through the day while completing events with the public. And we outfitted her with a backup generator to provide full off-grid power capabilities as well. The big contribution here was outfitting Betty so that she could charge using solar panels directly hooked up to the battery. But most people don't realize that you can't directly hook up a solar panel to a battery. So we also had to add on some electrical controllers. It's a device that allows the solar panels, regardless of partial sun, full sun, basically the amount of power coming in to match Betty's onboard battery. So. The goal was to make that in a compact, weatherproof housing. We outfitted her with a backup generator and inverter, so something that would allow Betty to also bring with her AC power for use during the day. So probably the most striking moments for the student and I, just the team here at St. Clair working on Betty. I would say, funny enough, would come down to the moments when we were taking her on a ride around campus, so not even working on Betty per se. Betty certainly is um, magnetic, she's very eye-catching, so draws a lot of interest when you're coming down campus. Um, people see that big trunk and hope you have ice cream, but really um, it, it was a good opportunity to tell staff, tell faculty, tell visitors to the campus, prospective students, what we're working on here at the college to let people know that Betty exists as well. She's fairly well known, but it allowed more people to learn about Betty. So I, I'd have to say that was probably the best part of the project. Very satisfying. I was here when, when Betty was dropped off. So it was the first point of contact for the library here on site. And when the truck came to the back door and the, the, uh, the guy that was helping me drop Betty down to the ground with a smile on his face, he knew something was special. And definitely that was a special moment. So just want to thank Windsor Public Library for giving us a chance to work on the project and um, I hope Betty keeps turning heads and uh, shows people how accessible these renewable technologies are. Thanks Betty and good luck. <laughs>